take your seat and get ready for this quick zodiac um, of the upcoming January New Moon of 2023. Now, it feels like we got off to like kind of a, a slow start, a false start. And we can all attribute that to the intense Mars retrograde and it's recently ended Mercury retrograde that likely still had you wrapping up the old stories from the previous year. So we can expect some unexpected changes at work, the reappearance of old friends, former colleagues, and yes, the dreaded text from the ex. You might have your head spinning and your wheels going wishing that you could just let that past stay where it's supposed to be in the past. And now that this new moon calendar and this new moon coming into play, we're settling finally into the new year. With the trials and tribulations of the first Mercury retrograde of 2023, luckily in our rear view mirrors. Now the planets are finally cooperating with us. Yes, yes, even the wild card planet Uranus will finally be turning direct within 24 hours of the new moon. We can finally begin planning our goals for this bold new year. Take that time to start manifesting some of those divine magical wishes that we have and all that energy that's coming at us in the Aquarius season of 223. You know, our dreams very, mel very well may come true. The new moon in January 2023 culminates on January 21st, 2023 at 3.50 3.52 p.m. Eastern Time. It's an air sign that's associated with higher dreams, inspiration and ideas, community action and engagement, and our friends, groups and networks. In fact, there are five planetary bodies in our air signs during this new moon, most notably Venus and Saturn, harmonizing with each other as the sun and the moon do. What does this all mean down here for us on Earth? Well, it tells us that the cosmos are, con are currently conspiring to make our manifestations come real. But only if we're only willing to commit to our thoughts, our beliefs, and our actions, and getting them in alignment, and verbalizing what we want. It can mean allowing unstable relationships that were not designed to withstand the test of time to finally be firmly left behind, so we can add more depth structure, definition, and of course long-term goals to in our destiny. The real longevity potential to anything you set your mind to at this time should show up and, and if you stay committed despite any obstacles, challenges, and doubts, or even self-limiting beliefs, uh, you got a really good chance of making every wish and desire come true this year. And this new moon also falls on the date of the Chinese New Year for 2023. So if you're interested in that, I'm going to cover that in a separate video. But for now, let's keep going on with the Zodiac and what's going to happen with this new moon. So how will it affect you depending on your star sign? Well, for the most accurate reading, look at your sun or rising sign according to your astro astrology birth chart. But let's have a crack at it here. Dear Taurus, this new moon is in your 10th house of career and it has you considering your reputation and what you ultimately want to be known for and adored for. If perception is reality, then this lunation is giving you the ability to transform the story you are telling yourself about your legacy. What is the genre of your life? You get to decide, but you must reconcile if you want that story to be about your career and it very well could be. Or if your career is currently getting in the way of being able to tell an epic tale about your life, adjust accordingly to what you conclude. Rewrite your story and write it the way you wish for it to be told. This new moon is right here ready to support you in your 10th house. 